Thanks uh, for your coming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. Um, what does it mean for you to be here tonight amongst this amazing array of British yeah. talent and be honoured in this way? Um, it's hilarious. I don't know what they think they're doing having me here. But um, I did I did at first think I, I actually I ignored the email for I think three weeks saying that this was that this was being offered uh, because I thought they mistook me for my sister. And um, I'm still not entirely sure that's not the case, and so I am waiting to be thrown out. But while I'm here, it's a total joy. And can you tell us about what you've got, um, this upcoming project that you've written? Yeah, it is a um, YA show set to premiere on Netflix in October. Um, it's temporary title is, is The Fuck It Bucket, but title pending means to find something a little less racy than that. Um, and yeah, it's a, I, think, I think genuinely will be, will be quite wonderful. I'm supremely biased, but... But yeah, I think I think it's good. I think people might like it. Can you give us a brief synopsis and you know, and what can people expect in terms of the look and feel of it? Ooh, um, I would say um, love letter to youth and to friendship. That is the vaguest thing I've ever said. I'm so that didn't answer your question at all. But um, I would I would say a uh, young girl is released from a hospital after a very long uh, battle with an eating disorder and is sort of uh, put back into, so tries to rejoin her own life but finds that her old life has effectively moved on without her. And so she curates a bucket list of things that she has to do in order to catch up with her friends. And so it's a very, it's quite a poignant kind of post-COVID show as well in that um, I think speaks to, a, a, speaks to quite a universal teenage experience at the moment of feeling that you had a year of your life taken away and wanting to kind of catch up on everything that you missed. And do you feel like now is an exciting time to be working in TV and film? It feels like there's so many exciting stories out there, a lot of female-led stories, a lot of female writers coming through, and you know you're saying your sister's in The Last of Us, so that, that, that show seems to have just exploded. Oh yeah, no, it's hugely, hugely exciting. Also, I, I think I, I'm, I'm not as grateful as I should be really, because I came along at just the, the best time. But um, like most of the, also it, it's a very it's a very female led show and the and the you know it's a very it's a very female voice and most of the writers are women, and um, I think most of the meetings leading up to the filming of the show it was kind of all women in the room, and that is pretty much unheard of. But I've had such a beautiful, diverse experience with the with the making of it and yeah it's a really really exciting time fantastic well really enjoy the evening it was lovely to chat to you thanks so much